All right, what's going on, boys? Mo here. And sorry if the audio sounds horrible. Uh, I'm doing a voiceover on my recording software, and for some reason, I can't get my normal microphone to link with the software. I've tried for the past hour and a half. I can't get it to work. So I have to use my headset audio. So I hope you guys can bear with me. But yeah, today I have, this is an MGB or, or tactical nuke. Uh, game I got yesterday. So I was just playing yesterday. I was recording gameplays off stream just in case I, I popped off and I wasn't recording my voice or Discord. So it basically just basically forced me to do a voiceover. And then you guys are new to the channel. I have never done a voiceover or a commentary uh, over gameplay before. So I'm sorry that <laughs> this might sound awful because of my. Uh, microphone but like I said I literally can't get my actual microphone linked so I have to use my headset microphone so like I said yesterday uh, on stream I'm basically just gonna be bringing you guys tips just like modern war or just like warzone you guys know I grinded warzone 1 and even a little bit of warzone 2 at the very very start and anything that I learned along the way uh, in terms of wind grinding I shared it with you guys and I tried to help you guys uh, to help you guys as much as possible with information and tips and tricks to get better at the game but that's basically what i'm going to be doing for war uh, for multiplayer as you can see i'm ripping up everybody can to get out here there my teammates pushed their spawn boom 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 oh my god that pistol copy this class and then i'll put it on screen bro that pistol is absolutely nuts and i put that on every single one of my multiplayer loadouts because it's that broken but yeah so i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be showing you guys how to you know how to basically get your score streaks how to do better in the game and little tips and tricks like that going forward um cause that's what i do i'm you know i'm out here camping like a boss <laughs> camping like a boss I, I know a lot of people look down on campers but come on it's hard not to when you're absolutely raining death from above look at this chopper gunner absolutely going off so one thing you probably noticed as well is I'm using the Wilson. I, I, I know a lot of people like the VTOL jet, but from uh, I'm trying to test out all the streaks. Like I said, I'm here for you guys. I'm here to try to figure out what's the best and what's, you know, get them more bang for your buck when it comes to your kill streaks. Um, from my testing, the Wilson actually gets you more kills on average than the VTOL jet. The only difference is, is you know, if you guys put on the Wilson, you may have to, you know, use the wheels in a couple of times just to get used to it maybe even go into a private match and practice on bots because i know with like the highest score streaks in the game if you just jump into like a gunship and you've never used it before you're probably not going to get as many kills with it in your first you know blind test run than you would if you know you had a little bit of practice so right now camp like a boss you see these angles i'm working you see this angle right here from the b flag i can also hear him blow me oh. Ooh. Ooh, double kill. So you see these angles I'm holding too. Um, obviously everybody knows about this camping spot up here, but uh, I'm going to be bringing you guys more camping spots on the other maps that people don't really know about. I want to try find a good spot on the new map, the Axpo map. And uh, yeah, but look at that, the pistol going to work. I still have my Wilson in my back pocket and these deployable covers, like I said, I, I just, I never die when I'm behind a deployable cover, but these are the two angles you see. I, I, I stand at the window behind my deployable cover and then I hold the little angle towards the B flag and I just rotate between them and I try my best not to overextend because uh, I think I'm going to get myself killed. Look at this. I kill my I kill my teammate with the Wilson. He runs right into the door as I'm driving through and it's just like, oh, so fun. I was laughing. Uh, Whenever I was actually playing this, because our teammate just got absolutely destroyed. Dude, this guy is so slippery around the little thing here. And to get him. But yeah, this Wilson, I'm telling you guys, you should definitely put this Wilson on. This thing is nasty. Definitely better than the VTOL jet. I, I will have videos, uh, a video coming up in the future of the best uh, kill streaks to run uh, on Modern Warfare 2 that get you the most kills. Because let's be honest, who wants to use kill streaks that are pointless? You know what I mean? You, you want to use kill streaks to light up the kill feed, to pop off. And um, yeah, the Wilson's definitely one of them. The clips I have of this Wilson just driving around getting like six man feeds, it is so good because the Wilson actually bypasses spawn protection. So if you drive it into their spawn, they'll, they'll just keep spawning there and you'll just be able to just mow them down as soon as they spawn. They can't really do anything. So, 
That's the one thing I hate about this game also. You see that I'm on like a 30 kill streak or something. I, I don't even know what I'm on. Well, 15 gun streak. I think I have like just like 30 kills overall. And I'm like, once again, peep the angles that I'm holding. I'm holding this angle here with the deployable cover. And then I go over to towards the B flag. I hold this angle. And that's like the best way to play shoot house. And sometimes, um, sometimes I will hear gunfire to my left. Uh, when I'm holding this B flag angle, and I just won't even peek uh, the left side because you, if you overextend, you're definitely going to get sniped 100%. But I'm constantly watching my back. I'm constantly, you know, making sure I don't overextend. As you can see, they're capturing the the B flag right there, but I don't want to peek out the window because I know for a fact I'm going to die. Like right there, this guy pushes up. This guy, this guy pushes up. This guy, um, he actually pushed up a few times to try to kill uh kill me out of this spot. Uh, as you can see right here, he he, he runs it in. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure he knifes my teammate here. Yep, knifes him. He tries to knife him at least. Um, yeah, and right here I'm sort of getting a little bit antsy. I think you know what? I'm actually just gonna get out of here because one thing I've noticed as well is, especially with Modern Warfare 2, not not so much with the old games. Some sometimes like the the old players, I don't know, bro. They just used to feed you like crazy. But on Modern Warfare 2, I swear everybody holds a grudge on this game. Like, if you kill someone, like, two times, they'll just keep coming back for you and try to knock you off your streak. I think I actually almost die here. The guy comes around the corner and snipes me. Right here. Comes around the corner and hits me with a sniper, and I just keep shooting and kill him, like, in a crazy. Boom. I just keep spraying, and I get him. And this is when I notice I'm on a 20-gun streak. So right now, I'm probably in my, like, high 30s in terms of kills because of my kill streaks, but I'm on 20-gun streak, and this is whenever I say to, um... Goku, the person I was running with in this gameplay, that I could actually get a nuke here, and he was like, "Yo, go for it." You can see him up on the, you can see him up on the right down on the, on the mini map. I, I was asking for an ammo box, and he comes running up with a munitions crit, so he pretty much got me this uh, MGB here. But same thing, I'm holding these angles. I'm not overextending, even though I'm, you know, you can see the time limit or the score limit at the top left. The game's almost over, but that's what I'm saying. You just gotta be smart. You don't, you know. Even if I get the nuke, I was just planned to be flawless. That's one thing, Jimmy Dean. Uh, the you know, if you guys don't know who Jimmy Dean is, I mean, you can look him up. He's the best camper of all time, bro. That's one thing I, I, I you know, I learn a lot of shit from other uh, other streamers and other content creators that help me in my gameplay and put it to work. And if it works, then you know, all I can do is vouch. But. Uh, yeah, you gotta just play to live. That's what he always says. Jimmy Dean always says, play to live, don't play for kills. And the kills will come to you. And that's so true. Because I don't know, like, even though I'm close to the nuke, and, uh, you know, the game's almost over, I'm just playing my angles, playing my game. And if I get it, I get it. If not, hey, I'm still flawless, baby. Still flawless gameplay. So, right here, I'm thinking, okay, I think I'm, you know, I think I'm actually gonna get up out of here. You know, I've been up there for a long time, pretty much from the start of the game. So I come and work this right side angle because I'm, you know, I'm constantly checking them up. I'm constantly checking what my teammates are doing. And you can see Goku just standing there on the right side. He's not. <laughs> I he actually just let me uh pop off there and kill everybody. I'm back spawn. The spawns flipped. I actually didn't even know these guys were gonna be here. And there's the MGB camping for an MGB, like a freaking boss. Yeah. More uh more of these. I think I'm gonna do more of these little uh commentary. But I feel like, obviously, this is my first, this is my first commentary that I've ever done, first ever voiceover. So this is probably terrible, but uh, hopefully in the future, you know, we will get better at it, and we'll, you know, be on that grind. And anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy. All right. Love you, boy.